work to harmonize and consolidate the House and Senate versions of the 2024 General Appropriations Bill or proposed national budget has begun. And leaders of both chambers guarantee a final draft tailored to the needs of the public that our Mela Lesmora sums up in this report. Good morning, Your Honors. Uh, we'd like to uh, acknowledge. The Senate and the House of Representatives formally opened today the bicameral conference committee meeting on the proposed 5.768 trillion peso national budget for 2024. Senate Committee on Finance Chair Sonny Angara and House Committee on Appropriations Chair Elizaldi Co led the proceedings in Makati City attended by other Senate and House leaders. During the bicam which is expected to last until next week, senators and congressmen are discussing the clashing provisions of the budget proposal they separately passed recently to unify and consolidate it into one. I pray that we reconcile our differences in the coming days and harmonize our varied perspectives with the programs of the present administration and the needs of our constituents. Sa panahon ngayon, highly uncertain times where uh, countries are at war, uh, children are dying, uh, siguro di natin masabi anong magiging epekto sa mga merkado, uh, sa negosyo, sa private sector, sa susunod na taon. Pero ang magagawa po natin is uh, gampanan natin mahusay yung ating tungkulin sa ilalim ng saligang batas. According to Congressman Ko, they hope to create a budget proposal which will truly respond to the needs of each and every Filipino next year. Ang laging, ano, is for, we want to be prepared for the next year. Gusto natin maging handa for the next year. Yung social services, uh, we want to fight the inflation, yung inflation sa bigas, sa mga yung mga ayuda, no? social services. Para naman, what, baka mamaya madagdagan pa yung problema sa mga gera or sa inflation. Kailangan medyo handa tayo. Meanwhile, for Senator Angara, he shared the Senate on its final version of budget bill adopted the House realignments. But if there's one agency that needs increased allocation, it would be the DICT. Kasi DICT parang oh, sa, to fight cyber for increased cyber security dahil alam natin minsan yung gera hindi na sa battlefield, di ba? hindi na barilan, kundi uh, someone can disable your uh, cyber networks pag nawala yung information. Di ba? Tayo as consumers, nagka-transact tayo online, pag nawala yun, pilay tayo. Uh, our economy will come to a halt. So I think the DICT is trying to appeal for, uh, ibalik sana at least a portion of their confidential fund. Yun ang pag-usapan namin ni Chairman Salvi. After the bicam, the Congress looks to ratify the proposed budget before its scheduled Christmas break so the President could sign it into law before the year ends. Melales Moras for The Nation.